scared the life out of me. <laughs> What's up everybody, my name is Alex and as usual it's always been a while, like I post these sort of videos like once a bloody month, maybe once every three months. <laughs> Basically the point is of this, I just wanted to have a look through my channel, I wanted to go back, see where I came from, see how I built it up and how far I've come in just a year because, well what inspired me was I literally had someone comment on one of my videos like, oh wow this is crazy to see how far you've come and now you're here with 1000 subscribers you know and it just made me think of doing this video and I was like you know what I want to go back, sorry my chair is a little bit uncomfortable, it's a weird position. Right so, to start off I was on my analytics and found out that only 12% are subscribed right? And 87% of you aren't subscribed. I'm not doing that rubbish. This I'll click the subscribe button. Thing. I'm just saying, like, if everyone was subscribed, I figured out it'd be it'd be like over 16,000 subscribers, which is just. Do you think we'll ever get there one day? I doubt it. Considering I'm just going off of unless I blow up out of nowhere. And for a Doctor Who YouTuber who occasionally makes videos like this and wants to do a vlog, but we can't go outside, just doesn't. And here we are on my YouTube channel. Now, as you can see, I've got this this fresh looking banner, professional looking. I changed it up, I changed it up. And I'm very proud with the content I've been producing. I think I took quite a long break and then I came back with some really like professional stuff, I'd like to say, because I took time, I learned the software that I was using very well and then did what I did. And it was the first time that I was able to look at it and go, okay, that, Look, that is what I've aimed to sort of create. I'm very happy with the visual effects I'm able to do now. So I think it was about, let's have a look. I remember I, then I had Hunger Games. It was around here, wasn't it? Maybe a little bit before, 10 months ago, maybe. Because I had my FMP, because that video was uh, my final major project for college. And I decided to do a Doctor Who type sequence as I knew I was good at it. Um, and then we got a bunch of videos where I took a bit of a break. And then, yeah, I came out with this video, which I was extremely proud of. Then I think I took another break from the title sequences, came back again. When I came back, I started putting out what I would like to say is professional, like, visual effects uh, title sequences. Because before that, I was happy with them, but it was never something I could look at and be like, I could see that on TV. And recently I have. And... I'm not sure why, but I believe it's just maybe me getting used to stuff. I'm going to move the camera down a little bit. Sorry if it's shakes. Um, but, you know, I'm very proud of these these ones. Specifically this one. Like, this one is fantastic. I'm going to turn off the thing. This one right here, I'm very, very happy with. The way everything moves. It's just still image. It's not a video. It's not been masked. It is just an image that I created in Photoshop. And oh, I can't remember the name of the method I use now, which probably isn't good. I'm on a visual effects course. But yeah, I use a certain method that displaced uh, certain layers of the image and it makes it look like it moves. The vortex is very colorful. I'm very happy with that. And I just, I don't know. I could see that being on TV. Whereas if I go back a little bit, which isn't even that long ago, if I go back to one year ago, although it is good, don't get me wrong, I love these videos, but you know, it just something looks off about it. But that, that's good. The TARDIS model, once again, is a green screen. This was at a time before I knew how to model stuff in Autodesk Maya, which is what I use. But, you know, there's certain elements. I think it was... Uh, do I have a face in this one? Yeah, here. Like, that, that just looks a bit off to me. But overall, this, these visual effects, I am very happy with. So that was when I first started using After Effects and getting used to the software. And now this is crazy to think that one year ago, this is one year ago, guys, I've progressed this much from the video that we saw with the Matt Smith title sequence to something like this, where I was using this green screen TARDIS. This, this is when I first learned how to use After Effects. <laughs> Did you hear that? So I'm not happy with this at all to look back on. And it gets worse as we scroll down. Now, for those who don't know, I hate my past on my YouTube channel. Like, I keep the videos. Like, if I if it wasn't for this, I'd delete them all because I want to start fresh and just look like I came to the site professional. But then something changed my mind. So, 
a long time ago, the way I built up my YouTube channel was using other people's content. Now, this wasn't just downloading a video and putting it up, no, and saying it's mine. I took green screen elements, I took people's visual effects of plain vortexes, and I'd slap some text in there or something. A lot of green screens, I combined them all, but I never credited people because of the amount of stuff that I used. And most of the time, I just completely forget. I was in a rush, I just enjoyed doing it, it was just a passion. I love just compositing something. Because the whole aim of my YouTube channel was to sort of push my concepts, to be like, this is what I want the title sequence to look like even though I didn't know how to create special effects. So that's all I had. And all I had ever had after that was just comments coming at me saying, oh, you stole this, oh, you've done this, oh, this is rubbish, oh, you didn't even make this. When in reality, it took a lot of time and effort to put these things together. So I did go for a moment on my YouTube channel where that did kind of get to me a little bit. But as you know, as you grow up, you do learn, you just need to look past these sort of people, you know, they, they come and go and they're not going to be there forever, are they? What was, what's my most popular video? Because I hate my most popular video and I believe it was the one that was featured actually on the radio twice being like Doctor Who concepts, top five or whatever. Um, sort by, sorry, I don't know how to use this. <laughs> most popular, there it is, is. I think it was this one. I absolutely hate it. And it's my most viewed video with 80,000. I should keep that off. But, you know, it just starts off with a casual clip and it's the TARDIS. This is a green screen. I use something called Camtasia Studio to make this. This is from a Star Trek trailer or something, the background. And I just, but you can see, I did do, I did put effort in trying to color it to make it look like, you know, it's the sun is reflecting off of this. And I think that works really well. I've been doing Doctor Who title sequences for nearly my whole life and that sounds ridiculous but I remember I'm like seven years old and I'm recording the screen on my DS of like David Tennant titles and then I'll do Matt Smith's and then I'll put them all together um, to make my own idea or I'd what's it uh, use PowerPoint <laughs> yes PowerPoint's the most ultimate visual effects software no but I'd have different like GIFs of a time vortex and I just put moving images with the animations that they have within the application. You know, the girl who fell to earth and I believe I changed it to the woman who fell to earth and then they actually used it in the episode. So that just, um, I was so happy when I found out that the first title was the woman who fell to earth and I created a title sequence well, well before with the name The Woman Who Fell To Earth. Oh, as you can see though, I did, what was his name, TARDIS Graphics? Yeah, TARDIS Graphics. You know, he made some fantastic content. He made this scene and I loved the work. I, I loved the nebula, the way it flowed through so smoothly. And I asked him if I could use it. So I actually got permission, <laughs> believe it or not, for once. So like I was saying, I want to delete these old videos, the ones with stolen content and all of that, but I want, I want to get the point across that this channel, if you look for it from start to finish, just goes to show that no matter what, even if you're taking content to put out your own, you know, concepts, if people tell you what your, your idea is silly, I want you to know, just go for it. Just put out videos because you can see how much I've developed. And like I showed you in just a year, how much my content and my skills have changed. You know, that could be you. That could, that could easily be anyone. You don't have to be some kind of special master in special effects. You just need to love what you're doing and keep working at it. Because I do this this sort of stuff in my spare time. I make videos and then it, most of the time I'm like, oh, actually that don't look too good. I'm gonna get rid of that. I won't upload that one. And that's not even just with the Doctor Who videos. I'm talking about when I do a, a game. Like the other day I recorded the Backrooms video game and I was looking forward to uploading it. But when I watched through it, it was just so dry and you could see I didn't want to do it. I just made it, you know, for the sake of having to put something out because I felt bad that I wasn't uploading to the channel. There you go. <laughs> There's nothing more to it other than that. I just didn't put it out because of that reason. But this one I wanted to do and I wanted to spread this uh, message to you guys that if you just put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything back to the future. <laughs> you know, 
I do, in my spare time, love looking back at, you know, my later videos that I've done that are actually really good because I do love looking at my concepts and my work and that's not being, that's not being like having a large ego, that's not being egotistical, that's just having a lot of passion for my work. And if I can, you know, watch something a million times over that I've created, I know it's good to go. You know, it's good to upload to YouTube because it means for sure you guys are going to enjoy it. Um, I love my channel and I did have a channel before this called Voidmaster HD so I'm actually going to go even further back to before all this Doctor Who oh wow actually no before we do that before we do that I've seen something right here we go my first YouTube video oh look at that intro actually let's turn that off I keep turning it on because I want to hear it but then as you know I'll turn it on screw it oh look at that Amazing. I can see the demo that was on Bluff Titler. Oh, wow. Stolen content. This was just like a clean, free-to-use title sequence. And all I'd done was added awful text. You could see the demo on it, and it's not good. The frame rate is awful. You know, I might try and recreate this, uh, like, obviously myself, the just to be like, hey, this is my first YouTube video. Or I could do my... Or I can recreate my most popular. You guys tell me in the comments what you would... Uh, you know what you'd prefer me to do, but I feel like going back to remaking my first video would be quite cool. I also did this. I also made a tutorial. Is that the tutorial? Where's the tutorial? Oh, there it is. How to make a Doctor Who title sequence. And you can see I use Camtasia Studio. Oh, God, look at Listen to my voice. Let's turn this up. Hang on. Oh, it's so weird to see this software. I mean, it's even weird to see Windows 8. Um, 2016 December. So that was when I was in year 9. So I was 14. Wow. For the record, guys, I'm turning 18 this year in May. So, Jesus Christ. I've been on YouTube a while, haven't I? When did I start the channel? I think this one was either September or March. About... September, September 7th. Okay, I said that the American way. Don't worry, it's just the way it's displayed. Look, that is a long time. That is crazy. I need to do some sort of special anniversary. I think I was meant to do one before, but I got caught up in a lot of work. Jesus. Four years, man. Technically, technically three years because it was late 2016. So it'll be four years this year. But that is... No, it'll be five years this year. No? guys i'm done with school i don't need maths <laughs> my brain doesn't work very well with quick maths guys okay we should know this by now as you can see i was also making title sequences for free giving them away to people just being like hey you want a title sequence sure and i'd make it obviously once again with the green screen content now i have a fiverr account uh so if you want to buy a title sequence literally just type in doctor Who title sequence and you'll see the name valox 64 or something like that on there and you'll know it's mine because one of the thumbnails is i think a thumbnail from one of my youtube videos i'm not 100 percent sure on that but the profile picture is the same one or i think the old one of what's on here you know what i'm trying to say but yeah uh, I, ch I do charge, actually I'll make a whole separate video talking about prices and stuff if you want it and I might not even do it for a fiver because fiver takes such a large cut and it's ridiculous <laughs> but this oh I like the theme used on this one but you can see that that text I feel awful I was giving these to people but hey it was free <laughs> once again I took the vortex even even the vortex was taken no comments how many likes oh damn <laughs> And, you know, I wonder what my most hated video is. Like, what's the one with the most dislike? It's got to be, like, the most popular one, surely. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, that old intro. Jesus Christ. It was way too long. Way too long. What was I doing? Now, this whole clip was taken from someone else. Like, that, that TARDIS, the Vortex. The text was mine. I think I even added the BBC logo myself just to make it try and look legit. Oh, this was Neon Visual. Fantastic, Kai. So, if we go to... Oh, no. As you can see, we're very far back now. So, this channel was created way back in March 2014. So, I was... How old was I? 11? 10? 10 or 11, I think. But, this channel is mental. So, this, other than my other one, which was Doctor Who Tarzan, this is where I just literally 
wanted to be a YouTuber. I have really tons of stuff. I've got 500 subscribers, which, you know, it's quite incredible for, you know, just uploading standard videos like reactions and stuff uh, when there's such, like, a large... What's the word? There's such a large amount of people out there that, that do that sort of thing. So to get noticed, especially being a young kid, like, I, do, I don't really know anyone that watches a young child like this. Uh, unless you are yourself a young child. <laughs> but, oh my god, I've linked my Twitch. I, I did, even though I had a Twitch. <laughs> Twitter and Instagram. Does that even go to my current Instagram? I don't want to try it. Well, actually, no, it's linked on here anyways. Let's have a look. Yeah, it is. Sign in. Am I not signed in? Anyways, feel free to add me on Instagram. I do pretty, pretty sick edits occasionally. Okay, so here we have the last video I ever made, which was two years ago already! I quit this channel two years ago! Well, yeah, dramatic music. Aww. Look at my bedroom. It's so cosy. Like, I hated it because it was so childish, but when I see it on old videos now, I just think, damn, that looks really cosy. My bedroom right now kind of just... The background in this video looks empty. That's just... And the thing is, I uploaded this on April 1st just so I could say the fact that... Hey, look, it's not actually an April Fool's, and I could trick some people into thinking it's an April Fool's. It was stupid, but I thought it was funny. But I was legitimately leaving, as you can tell. Oh, I turned off the comments. Why did I do that? What's wrong with me? I, I feel like oh, this channel was created at a time when I was going through that awkward stage where, you know, you look back on your past and you oh, that's awful, I'm going to get rid of it. So... All my first ever YouTube videos are actually gone forever because I can't find them on anything and they were recording on a, on, on a really old tablet that my brother had and that's been gone for years. So the footage is forever lost. And I remember my first ever, my first ever YouTube video was me recording, like literally record, ha hand held camera recording the screen of Dyra for Wimpy Kid. You know that scene where Rowley sits on the tinfoil ball? I was during the video, that was it, that was it. Let me turn this up. Oh, truth. <sighs> and for some reason, I thought that was hilarious as a, uh, you know, when I was younger. So I uploaded that, slapped that online. But then my first actual video that contained me, which was literally my second video, was me and my brother playing Minecraft demo, the Minecraft demo on Xbox 360, and that can bring a tear to my eye, because that is memories right there. We played on the tutorial world, we just went around, we put on the heads. Oh, it was amazing, man. And I'll never forget it. I remember we were sitting in the living room, I remember the TV was right in front, one, so one sofa was here, one sofa was there, I was on one, my brother was on the other. Had the tablet set up on like on top of the fireplace facing the TV and <sighs> that's memories man, that's memories, that, that hits different. As you can see on this channel I also recorded a lot of reaction videos. My microphone, what is going on? It's like surround audio in a tinfoil ball. Literally the audio is like all the way out here but it's so... Oh, the frame rate. What was I recording on? A potato? Although I did... Oh my... No, no, no. Oh my god, I just remembered. This is... This is 12th Doctor's Regeneration. There's no way I aged. That was three years ago? Three, four years ago? Three years ago. Which doesn't even feel like it was three years ago. That's not right. Three years ago? And even for three years ago, I look a bit young. Like, is that just me? But I feel like I look a lot younger here than I do now. Did I just have a massive, like, aging crisis go on? Three years ago? I remember doing this. It felt like it felt like it was maybe last year, two years ago. Maybe not even two years ago. I don't know. It just... Oh, oh lovely frame rate. Oh, yes. Oh. Mental age. I think I've got like a mental age of 50 or something. Damn. I can't bother to watch that. <laughs> See what I mean? If I can sit there and go, I can't be bothered to watch it, what must other people have thought? Apparently 103 people liked it. 
And that's another thing I want to mention is views. So I want to put more videos out on my Valox channel like this. But the thing is, I have to build a new audience for that so I can have two audiences. One that watches the title sequences and one that's there for these videos. So the Doctor Who title sequences can go up to a thousand views They're on average. There's about a thousand views. And that's pretty much my whole subscriber count. And for the people, whenever I upload like a gaming video, I get about 53 views. Which is awful, so I get a lot of people going, Oh, look at that subscriber to thingy ratio. Yeah, but that's just because they were there for one set of videos, and now I'm bringing out a new... F that no one's going to watch that. They're there for the 10-second Doctor Who sequences, you know? Stop. Okay. I'm sorry. It's me from the future. Uh, issue is, the video corrupted. <laughs> so for some reason, the stupid device decided to go, Oh, we're going to cut down your video into segments and one of those segments was 30 minutes long right 30 minutes of footage just corrupt gone and it was the main part of the video it's the best part where i just i rediscovered my first youtube video i then went on to get jump scared by a by, by an old fnaf video but i'm back with the stuff that got cut out. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to completely recreate like a jump scare. I'm not going to fake it. I'm going to be completely honest. But it's annoying. So I'm going to go through what I think was left out of the video. Because I'm doing this right after recording and discovering that the video was corrupt. I haven't watched through it or tried editing yet. So literally, let's just go. Uh, here was the FNAF video. <laughs> so this is, this is what I'm on about. So... The quality is horrific. Look at it! I'm terrified. I'm checking behind me. I had the lights off. It's the first time I've played uh, anything like this. I was very paranoid, man. But I actually, believe it or not, I never got jump scared once throughout this entire video somehow. <laughs> I'm so scared, man. And right at the end of the video, I am horrible, man. I scared the life out of me. <laughs> After this bit, so I was just preparing to talk about the outro and be like, yeah, this is my old outro. And I scared myself even worse than the first time. Don't corrupt now. I've been through it. I'm not going through it again. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. All right. Fair enough. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll open this video because I don't know if you guys saw it. And I also wanted to show you the important one, which was like a channel trailer. And... <laughs> Still not over it, my heart's going. Um, the channel trailer showed my first ever YouTube video and then some uh, video going on from there. Because if you don't know, I started off as Space Racer 321, changed my name to Ionic Tech, and then Void Master came around. And I only added HD on the end because there were so many different Void Masters. This is the video. And we're gonna, we're gonna watch this now. And it's super high quality. So as you can see, that was the old profile picture. Crazy. Look at it. That was the demo. Look at me. And there's the Ion Tech logo. Yeah. That's my cousin Rion, by the way. Um, this is this was these were the good days on YouTube. Like we were doing the headphone challenge. You know where you have the headset on, you play music full blast, and you gotta try and say something, and they gotta guess the word that you're saying. It, it was fun. This was this was good, and I miss my bedroom was kind of strange like this. It made it the bedroom a lot smaller. Like it feels a lot bigger now because I've had to get a smaller bed and try and squeeze a desk in with a chair. It's just the the way it was arranged. But here it was like. No bedroom, like, there wasn't even one step of space, trust me. Like, there was, I wouldn't get a chair in there. Like, literally, there was the bed, and the bed faced the desk. It was, it was the most B-Tech setup I've ever had in my life. This is so wholesome, man. Even the music brings me back, and then we got... That was the uh, original logo, which was actually one of the first things I made in... No, wait, I don't know if that one was made in Photoshop. I think someone made that one for me. 
I was talking to them and they made this for me, which was really nice of them. And obviously I changed it to this red sort of vlog and that was the first ever thing I did in Photoshop. So that's pretty cool. Got some Minecraft, might play some Minecraft. Maybe in a future video, maybe the next video might be Minecraft. Caravan vlog. That's my favourite video ever. I don't know if I mentioned it in the, like I say, the clip before, because it all got corrupt and I don't know what was included and what wasn't, so I'm just assuming. That's crazy. Enter the Void was just sort of like this catchphrase that I had that was like, you know how people had like, yeah, PewDiePie at the time was like the bro army and stuff, and I was like, oh, you can be the Voiders. So it's like, Enter the Void rather than, you know, Join the Void. Or something like that. Jesus Christ, haven't we just started off on a. Uh, Intense part. That's the worst cookie. That's the worst hey cookie, was it? I think she started licking her uh, bits or whatever. Best SpongeBob oh, blog. Jesus. Go. Ah, 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 ah. Guy uses cookie attack. <laughs> oh no, that's the worst <laughs> cookie. <laughs> oh, that was actually good. And you can see hey him chubby um, as hell. One off thing, not the vlogs, I mean like like going to like show your own caravan because obviously I've got swimming and then beach. Which nice car, I care so day. much about what and you've got. Jesus Christ. Um, Apparently 157 people really liked this. Kitchen, well, not liked so it, but saw well, this. So yeah, we were doing up the kitchen at this time, which, wow, okay, was it really it that long ago that we did it? This was early 2016. Jesus, everyone called 2016 like the best year, okay, didn't they? Okay, forget that. This was me in 2016. <laughs> Back to the future on the screen. This. But yeah, this is my favourite vlog ever and I can't put my finger on why. But I, I, the only thing I have, it was just like the first ever sort of vlog I enjoyed doing. Because most of the vlogs I do is just for the sake that I... Uh, I know I can go back to one day and look back on it and be like, I remember this now, I remember it. You know, it takes me back. But in the moment, I just want to enjoy whatever holiday I'm on or whatever theme park I've gone to or whatever I'm doing. So I don't enjoy recording, but I've got to keep telling myself, oh, you've got to record now, I've got to record. This was the one time, and being my first vlog, was me just going, oh, yes, I can record, oh, I can record this, I can record that. So, you know, <laughs> it's only seven minutes, Anyways. but it's seven minutes of chaotic okay. good. Look at that. I, I don't really have much to say right now. Why would you call? It's really cold. Don't open it. No, don't open it. It's... Oh, you know what you need to find? Where's the... Views. Yeah, right, so views. Guys, what the hell is going on there? And I've got this amazing drink. It's not coca. Drink out the dog bowl. Drink the dog bowl. Views. Oh, I miss these days, man. Um... If I remember correctly, I shut the door yeah, so no one comes in and say. interrupts, and then they come in immediately after anyways, they follow me round. Yeah, kind of Which is another good thing, because it, 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 as time progressed, I started becoming more conscious of family members specifically whenever I'm recording. Whereas here I didn't care. Like, back before, it'd be like, um, oh no, can you go away, I need to record now, you, you know, you've walked in on me and stuff while I'm trying to talk to the camera. Whereas now, I feel like I could just record, someone comes in and just you know, either stop me like, oh no, I'm recording and then edit out, or if I'm doing a vlog, just involve them in the vlog, just be like, yeah, no, I'm vlogging at the moment, and then, you know, it's, it's chill, it's just, it's just what you have to do. The one thing I haven't gotten over is just my fear of, like, public. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm just being stared at any time I record anything, and that was specifically for the Player Flamenca vlog, where I went to Spain. When I was in that airport, man, Everyone, it felt like everyone was staring at me, man. Ah, oh. but I did it. I did it. So I'm proud anyway, of myself. Anyway, this vlog will continue till the end of the day, and as you can see, Jesus. Now we are going. Now, now. Oh no, I can't sit through this, man. <laughs> it's my cousin, by the way, if you can tell. Fluffy thing from. Let me do a outfit today. Tristan, Tristan is wearing this. Stop! He looks so little. Just for thinking, I'm the, here. I'm the age that Tristan is now. And that's obviously my little brother, but that's mind blowing. Because I'm going on 18 this year, right? May, which isn't even that long away. Because I keep thinking we're in January and we're in March. 
So that's crazy. I'm, and I'm 14 here going on 15, which is what he is. That's mind-blowing, man. He looks so little. But angry birds I No, I can't. I can't. I can't watch this. This is paper. Oh, my God, this... Oh, my God. 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 Like, I see why people did not like me. Such a weirdo, man. So, oh, I'm so uh, red. This Jesus Christ, this, 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 this is the lighting, obviously, in the room. Like this. Except we were in the caravan and it is night time. Um, but yeah. It hurts, man. It hurts. Especially knowing that 457 people have watched this. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay, right. Let me. This was the video I wanted to talk about. Welcome. Now, I basically cut together a bunch of my intros uh, from different points in time. So, uh, let me. How do I explain this? <laughs> uh, so, when, whenever I see the first video where my voice changed or I looked older, you know, I take the clip and I put them all together. So, you can slowly see me aging and each clip is my voice changing. Sorry, my eyes keep scanning across because the screen is here and the camera is here and I need to focus on the camera. Um, but, yeah, the, the point is this is just such a cool video to look back at. I wish I could update it. Maybe, I mean, maybe I could. Maybe I could. Uh, let's make sure it's on a decent... Oh, my God, you can watch it in 4K. Guys, 4K. That is amazing. But uh, my, I, what was my old intro? It was, what is up, everybody? My name is The Void. Actually, let's watch the first one. Let's watch the first intro. Let's go. What is up, everybody? My name is The Void. Now, obviously, before that, my name was Ionic Text. That's the first intro. What is up, everybody? My name is The Void, which is where, what is up, everybody? My name is Valox comes from. I'm pretty sure, is it that? Yeah, it is, it is, isn't it? Oh, I can't even remember my own intro. <laughs> But what is everybody? My name is The Void. Just for those, just for those uh, nostalgia reasons. Hey, what is up, everybody? My name is The Void. Oh hey guys. Lord. Hey guys. What is up, everybody? My name is. Like Lord. I say, this makes me want to play Minecraft again. Hopefully, in a higher quality. My name is The Void. What is up, everybody? My name is The Void. What is up, everybody? My name is The Void. What is up, everybody? My name is. The void. Actually, let's go back to this a second. I feel bad to call him out, man. Where is it? This guy, this guy called, uh, sorry for the link being so obvious on screen, this guy called the Abstract Gamer, uh, he was one of my mates that eventually ended up sort of turning on me almost, like, um, how do I explain this? So he started putting out videos out of almost, that all my other friends could see was jealousy, being like, oh he fakes his subscribers, oh he buys subscribers, oh it's so obvious, because, and he went into my, oh, he went into my analytics, he like literally broke down my whole account and just was like, oh as you can see by the graph there's a sharp incline and all that, just to try and discredit me, is that the word? I don't know. But to put me down almost like, oh, he fakes everything, you know? And bear in mind, I only had like 300 subscribers at the time, so that is is quite ridiculous. I mean, I loved it at the time, don't get me wrong, it's just because I'm so beyond that now. And your, your mind gets so used to a bigger number that you can see the other numbers as small. But I was always grateful. I'm always going to be grateful, and now I don't really care about subscribers because my goal was always getting to a thousand. And I'm thankful that you guys helped me get there. But anyways, going back to this, this guy wrote down my analytics, like I say. But he tried to basically put out that I faked subscribers and was like, oh, this is that. I had a bunch of friends defending me. Thankfully, I did not. I just was lucky enough to post a video that drastically went up. All right, and I'm being truly honest. I made videos that people wanted to see. I made Doctor Who content that I knew was going well at the time, so I continued it, and it just increased my subscribers. It's that simple, whereas he did games, which there's a large majority of people doing games. You're not going to get that noticed. So out of jealousy, he obviously wanted to do that. I mean, he did apologise, but I feel like it was just the fact that I, <laughs> I ended up getting my mum to speak to him, because... 
he was ch- he was just he was just being horrible, man. He was a horrible person at that what point. But hey, he's living his life now. It doesn't really matter, does it? This is just such a weird video. <laughs> the quality is so low. What is a drastic change after a long break of not doing any YouTube. What is a body? My name is Wood. So, uh. Hey, guys. What is a body? My name is Wood. What is a body? My hair, man. My name is Wood. And that's that. It ends there, and I'm still pretty young. How old was I here? Let's have a look. When was the video uploaded? Where was I three years ago? 2017. So I remember because the videos before my hair was long was after my surgery because I couldn't go hairdressers. So it was about year 10. So I must have been 15 going on 16. And I was most definitely single at the time. So I must have been 15. Yeah. So I would have been 15. Jesus Christ. That's crazy. Well, I look so young though. I feel like I've, is it just me who sees it? But I feel like I've aged, like, a lot in just the two years. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Um, but that is basically the main parts that you missed out on. I explained my foot surgery. Don't know if that was in there. Uh, Happy Wheels. I remember, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Was it this Happy Wheels video? No, no, no it wasn't. Because I went back to doing Happy Wheels. There was an, yes, it was this one. This was like the day before my birthday, was it? Yeah, May 1st. Why do I, I keep saying the American date because it's written down here like the American date. You don't want that. First of May. Sorry if this thing here keeps popping up the total joke face. This layout of my room just brings back memories. I mean, it's like that now, but I mean when the desk was like here, like by this this wall here, they used to face it out. I saw this light for Oh my lord, my hearing. Kai, why would you do that? Jesus, but... You know, as you can see, the sound is out of sync, everything's laggy. I wasn't producing very high quality videos, and I think that goes to show, no matter where you come from or what you're doing on YouTube, if you keep working on it, you'll get better and you will gain a following, whether it be big or small. You do what you love, and whether, you know, you have zero views or a hundred views or a million views or a billion views, you know, you're always going to feel the same way. It's like my videos. I post up to who content but i post doctor title sequences <laughs> can you hear my brother screaming uh because i love doing it if i if i had no subscribers and no one was watching i'd still do it because i just love the idea of being able to make something and then post it onto the internet and i don't know how to explain it but she's saying i like doing it. and if you like doing it too it's worth it do not just do youtube for the sake of being a youtuber because someone you know does it because it's you can't do something like that and expect to grow a following you have to be able to tell yourself i could do this with no subscribers and still feel the same way as i would if i were doing it with a million subscribers and that's the only way that you will grow because it will it will show in your videos it will show that you enjoy doing what you do and as you know someone who's done this sort of thing for years now it means a lot because I would, I couldn't imagine imagine like going back in time telling myself you'll hit a thousand subscribers one day nearly two thousand subscribers which I just have to be very thankful for but yeah I'm gonna cut back to the, the four minutes that was left of the video at the end I don't know what I was doing I have to figure that out but it's gonna be an annoying video to edit but yeah thank you for seeing this bit I'm sorry Kyle I don't know what happened I think it was storage so yeah uh, continue. Actually, let's check out one last video and we're going to switch to my Valox account for it. Here we are, one last video to watch. I want you guys to listen to this because it is true to this day. I mean, besides that, let's uh, get past the intro without copyright. Here we go. Hey guys, it's Valoxy. I am Google, but that shouldn't matter too much for this video because I just want to thank you guys for 50 subscribers. 50, that is damn. amazing. So and I never back. thought this channel would ever get this far, to be honest, after I saw it being stuck on a certain amount of subscribers quite a while ago. I was actually planning to delete this channel. Oh, and yeah. then after a while, I realised, you know what? Wow. And I just saw the subs there, and I was like, this isn't real. And it was, so, you know, obviously. I was so grateful, This man. is amazing. I just Still am, but I mean, like, even for 50 subscribers. And, um, yeah, 
that. So go subscribe to my main channel, Voidmaster HD, if you haven't already. Also, um, the video before this should have been my intro. Um, I hope you did like my new intro. And uh, yeah, what you are seeing now is just a tribute to Regeneration and Adoptions. So that's obviously um, 1 to 12. Oh, and, okay, so this is not really I can make some theory videos if you want me to. Oh, yes, wow. see guys. Oh, is that the, that, that, that was the teaser, wasn't it? The 15 with the question mark. Damn. Well, this has been a wonderful experience, guys, to go back and look at my history. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you feel inspired. If you don't have a YouTube channel already and you feel like making one, go for it. You know, doesn't matter what content you're putting out. Look, just do what you love, okay? If... It goes downhill when you're not getting any views. It doesn't matter because it's what you love. There is no downside to it. If you want to stop, just stop. You know, it, just focus on what you want to do. Like with this channel, I remember so many people thought it was ridiculous. Like, how can you make, how can you dedicate a whole channel to just title sequences for Doctor Who? You know, like how how many times can you make a Doctor Who intro? And I proved them wrong, and I did it, and I've got however many subscribers with how many ever many views on each video you know but it also means that when no one's watching you're still doing what you love so there's no downside to it like i just said i'm sorry to repeat myself my brain's slowing down <laughs> but i'm just gonna end it here so thank you so much guys for watching and thank you so much for being here and supporting the channel this goes out to all the people who aren't even watching this video because they're only here for the doctor who videos but I honestly hope that this has inspired someone and maybe changed their view on certain things. But yeah, that's all I want to say. Thank you. Bye. You, you, baby.